How you doing, everybody? Randy Richards in the shop. I'm going to show you um, a new model of the Teslong uh, endoscope. Uh, Teslong sent this to me to check out. And I'm going to do a, an inspection on this piece of equipment here. This is the main body of a, of a table saw, and it has a gear and inside here, worm gear set up, which you'll see right here. And now I've shown this in previous videos, the worm gear set up from the table saw I'm restart restoring. This is a, the same model, make, everything of the one I'm restoring, except it's, it's together. This was donated to me from uh, Old Iron Machine Works, uh, Gary up there in Rio Vista, California. And uh, I'm going to take a look at the gears inside of this one before I disassemble it, or is it worth disassembling, to see if they're better than the set I have here. So we're going to go into this and take a look with the endoscope and do a, an inspection. You can see here how these here are these gears here are completely worn out. They're very sharp edged and there should be a nice flat top surface to them and not a razor sharp edge like these ones have here. Right in here, this has a nice flat top to it. This flute here and these ones here have a razor sharp edges uh, worn on them so they're all worn out. Now it mates with this gear here in the video, it's very hard to see, but these are very sharp edge where it's flat right here. That's how they should be uh, pretty much flat across the top, not sharp edge like this. So we're going to go inside. We're going to see this gear. We'll see this gear, and we'll see probably part of the shaft here. And we're going to see what those gears in there look like. So here's the case that comes in. Uh, nice case. Buckles. And... This is what we got. Now this is an, a Teslong NTS500B. Now here is the one they sent before. This is an NTS500. A uh, little, little different case and such. Uh, so, but very, sim very similar. So this is a new one. Now this has a lot longer uh, lead on it. I think it's like 16 and a half feet, uh, pretty long. It has a small dual camera uh, probe on it. This this will not fit down a 22 caliber bore. Uh, just a, just a hair too big. Comes with a couple of little attachments. So it comes with a couple attachments here. This one's a hook, and this is a magnet. Now, you, this here end unscrews this little bezel ring here. It unscrews and then you screw on your like this one here's the magnet and you just thread that on the end here there you go and you can see through it and so you can kind of aim the camera can see through it here and you can aim to uh, see what you're gonna pick up and then there's a, a little uh, mounting device leg this little uh, Allen wrench, uh, the mounting leg mounts on the back of the unit, and so you could s set it up and stand it up. USB uh, charging cable. So this comes with the lead attached to it. This little wrench that came with it is for the screw in the back. You loosen this screw in the back, and then you can remove the lead if you want. Pretty, pretty simple. The button on here is to change cameras, so it just plugs in and tighten that up. And it comes with a little manual here. It has a five inch screen, 1280 by 720 screen. Snapshot resolution is 1920 by 1080, so pretty pretty uh, clear uh, uh, picture taking. And uh, video recording 1080 by 720 or 1920 by 1080, so it's, you know, it's HD. And uh, Charging port, flashlight, uh, 3,500 milli milliamp hour charging lithium battery, 
uh, charging time three to four hours, battery life two to four hours, and all the languages and all that stuff. So uh, take a, more of a look at it here. So on the back there is a flashlight here if you're in a darker area to see what's going on. And uh, there's a button for the flashlight and power here. So just hold that, comes on it's nice and quick. The other one comes on a lot slower. That comes on right away, has a LEDs. So here at the back there's a flashlight. You can just turn that on and off. Very bright LEDs on and off. And uh, then you have uh, up here you have uh, brightness control of the light on the camera. Now there's a light on the side also. And you can knock it down to three settings. Bright, next, 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 off. Now this button here is, uh, takes a picture. Just push it and it makes a snapshot of whatever you're looking at. Then we have a can't change the camera, push this button on here, and then we're on the side camera and the lights on there. Actually, this is, looks like a, a better screen than a, on the other one. Um, this has a micro uh, memory card in here and the USB charging port right here. A little cover. A little more streamlined than the other model. Um, you have you know, your settings, resolution. Let's make sure we're, yep, we're in the highest resolution right now, which is nice. You can have date stamp. We'll have it turned on. And whether it's shutter sound, if there's a, we'll have it turned on. It sounds like a camera that way, right? All right, we'll set the date and time. 221. April and it's the 21st today format okay, okay. default settings cancel that and gives us a version number, okay, NTS 500B, and website and stuff, support information. Okay, and we're back. So let's uh, let's dive into uh, with the camera and take a look at those gears. to the side see if we can see the gears teeth and you can kind of hard to see them but there they go oh there's the gear teeth on the side now they have flat tops on them that looks good so we're looking for let's see here see if I can push down farther past the gear Now, I'm going to change to the side camera. Now we're on the side camera. Jack. You have to bend this to get a little different angle. Looks like tight spaces down in there. There's the end of the worm shaft, right there. Bend it some more. To, now the wire is fairly stiff and you can bend it to different, sh so you can get really good control of what you're, where you're going. Now that's the screw of the main shaft, 
uh, with the main, that big gear that's mounted on, I said we'd probably see. That there's the side of the big gear and those teeth don't look too bad you know they that's the end of the other one we want to look at the side of it down in there like I said it's pretty tight quarters inside the casting here the only other way to do this is, is to actually take it apart so then we can replay this we'll just change the play mode right there and that is uh, I think the fo that's a photograph that we took let's see here change the as the other photograph we took kind of got part of that gear and then this would be our movie and we hit OK It records the sound also, and so you're picking up the mic. Now, I will put this video into the video. How's that? I'll take this file and we'll make a, a clip in the video. All right, you guys. Uh, see, I had a little stand on the back here holding it up. That just a thumb screw puts it on. That uh, camera's still on. Anyway. Unit you know, works extremely well. Nice clear picture. Um, nice fine lead. Uh, this, this here lead is nice and small. The, the probe is small. Fits into tight places. And it was very tight inside there where we were looking. And uh, nice case. And uh, I, the other one I have is, is excellent. I've been using it on several occasions. Uh, and this one, I think, is a, it's even better. Uh, it has a better screen, I think, and uh, clearer. Camera's great. Longer lead. You could stick that thing down, down a pipe and <laughs> see, see what's plugged up for the price. Uh, now, this is on Amazon, and I'll have a link in the description uh, for this unit. And uh, just uh, actually, yes, it's made in China, but... The only reason I do a review on their product is because they make a good product. They, they actually do. It's, it, uh, it's, uh, it's actually very good. Uh, and it works well. So anyway, uh, check them out if you're interested in one of these. And, uh, you know, pick one up for the shop. It's a pretty uh, small investment to uh, have one of these. So thank you, guys, and thanks for watching.